Jakarta is a set of specifications that extend Java Standard Edition, so things such as persistence, web services, security are included in Jakarta E. Um, so in this video, I want to show you how to create a new Vadin project that uses Jakarta E. So if you are familiar with Vadin, you know that you can create an application using start.vadin.com. Uh, but unfortunately, at the moment, uh, you can only create uh, Spring Boot applications and you will have to go to this other page and download um, kind of a low world like uh, application that uses CDI, which is one of the specifications in Jakarta EE. Now you can do that or you can also uh, use Eclipse to create a new um, Vadin project. Um, so you will have to install a uh, Eclipse plugin. Uh, I have already installed that, so make sure you have that installed. And then after that, you'll be able to create um, new Vadin projects here. So make sure you select uh, 10 or later. And by the way, you can also create the, the, the page that I show you there and then import uh, the project into IntelliJ IDEA or uh, VS Code or NetBeans if you are using one of those uh, ideas. So I'll use Eclipse uh, in this video. And you can specify a um, like the coordinates for your project, right? This is Maven. So let's call this Jakarta EE Baden Demo. And make sure that you select CDI and Jakarta EE. In fact, this is not using Jakarta EE, but uh, um, I guess that's how the uh, specifications are known nowadays, but technically it's using still Java E. Uh, so, so let's fix a couple of things here. So first, maybe I want to use uh, Java 11. In fact, let me check what I'm using. So I'm using uh, OpenJDK 16, that's all right. But let's use 11 here, which is the, the, uh, the long-term support version of, of uh, Java. But for Vadin, I want to use the latest, which is, you can always check that here at vadin.com, uh, version 20. The long-term support version is 14, but I want to use uh, 20 in this case. That's zero, that's zero. Then we need to find Java E, so the dependency. So this is using Java E still, so Jakarta, Jakarta, dot platform if I can type and it, I think it's Jakarta that Jakarta e API uh, I think that's that's correct so eight zero zero is what we are going to use uh, if you don't if you forget these uh, another way to kind of uh, get those is by going to Jakarta.ee and there is a starter here in resources. Where is the starter? Here, starter, which is star.jakarta.e. And in this case, just a simple uh, hello, hello world kind of application. But there, you can download that and have a look at the pom.xml. Um, but I think, yeah, I think that's what we need in this front. Now I think I need to uh, fix some stuff here. So let me show you the code. Let's start with a grid service. So, uh, so it's using currently something called Vadin session scoped, which means that instances of this class are going to be shared in the same session. So each user, if you wish, is going to have a one, but maybe it's better to have application scope for this example and it just has a method that you pass name and it, it returns some kind of string okay so that's good now the main view we need to change some stuff here actually there's a lot of distraction here we don't need any of these i'm just gonna remove all this stuff uh, we don't really need those commands or even uh, these <laughs> things at all um we only need uh, the components and some kind of interaction. So as you can see, what we have here is a text field that is asking for your name, a button that 
it's going to show the text in the button it's going to show say hello and then I click listener this is an event that uh, shows a notification actually let's make it more readable by extracting this to message at least and uh, and then we show an notification with that message and, and, and this um, string is formed or or you get it from the from the the service that we just had a look at passing whatever is in the in the text field that's it all right so we have the application uh, ready or actually let's fix some more stuff because I kind of don't like these too much I have to be honest so we can actually make this final and instead of uh, oh you know what we don't even need the reference because we, it's not like we have a, a whole lot of uh, methods here so main view the constructor we pass the grid service that we are using right there and we are injecting using uh, CDI mm, we're injecting an instance of grid service um, so yeah I think the project should be ready now there's an error here I don't know if you can see this little X there but I, we need to update the Maven project uh, and then it should solve the, the issue it seems like so and now we can run the uh, application just uh, running uh, Maven we don't need to specify any goal because there is a default goal I can actually show you default goal so we are running right now package Tommy run so Tommy is one of the implementations of the Jakarta E specifications and we are using it here as a Maven plugin right so this is kind of the server and you can use uh, um, any other implementation for example uh, glassfish okay so let's have a look at the uh, console here it should be uh, starting the application by now localhost and the first time you run this like which is my case uh, you'll see that uh, it's going to uh, build the the front end that is all the web components uh, and creating uh, or downloading basically and putting them somewhere here but the application is ready ASDF say hello and we have an notification actually we can click many times just for fun <laughs> all right so so it's working and um, now we have all the power of the uh, uh, Jakarta E specifications we can use all the services in our uh, beans and, and, and even in the uh, in the views all right as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video